get, you will no longer struggle to gain them. And in addition to it, as it comes to my spirit now, God will return to you all things that has passed you by that we are not able to achieve, that time has taken, God will restore them back unto you. He said, I will restore unto you all the wasted years and all the things that Pama worms and canker worms has eaten. Our God is a God of restoration. Hear me. Anytime God wants to deliver you from being covered with a sackcloth, from, from, from being covered you know, you know, with what enemy has covered you with, anytime he comes to do that, then what he had in mind is to make you celebrate. What he had in mind is to make you to celebrate, make you to give testimony, make you to have a new life, make you to know that you can still make it again. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you this moment. May all your enemies be put to shame. May God change your garment. May God give you another new garment. May the old garment catch fire right now in the name of Jesus. May that bondage where they put you in, may you come out of it in the name of Jesus. May the cloth catch fire and be removed out of your body in the name of Jesus. May your eye be open. May you begin to see good things. May you begin to achieve things that you have not been able to achieve before. In the name of Jesus, may God begin to answer your prayers from today. May you begin to make progress in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Hear this. When you see yourself covering with a dirty cloth, with a black cloth or a sack cloth, whatever cloth, which is an indication that your enemy is putting you in bondage. What you need at that time is Jesus. What you need at this time is Jesus. You need Jesus to rescue you. You need Jesus to intervene speedily into that case. Hear me? When you see that, it's an indication that God wants to deliver you. Then run to Jesus. It is, it is an indication that you need Jesus. Then run to Jesus. It's an indication that Jesus is needed in your life. You need Jesus. Anyhow, anyhow, you just need Jesus. That is what it means. So when God shows you in the dream, that means you need Jesus. And when Jesus intervenes, then the story will turn around. I pray in the name of Jesus. May you receive grace and the ability to be bold to go to God in prayer and then accept Jesus in your life. If you have known him before, but accept him afresh again. Renew your contract with Jesus. Renew your relationship with Jesus. And then let Jesus run your life for you. And you will never regret it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, my Father. Now, number seven. If you dream and see yourself in the prison, that means you are spiritually tied down or you are spiritually in bondage or you are spiritually in the prison. Yes. If you see yourself in a prison, in your dream, what it means that you are spiritually in prison, you are spiritually tied down, you are spiritually covered, you know, something is spiritually happening in your life. And it could also mean that you should be very careful. You may go to prison in the physical. Yes, you may go to prison in the physical because people saw themselves in the prison and then they also end up in the prison. But there is something you can do so you cannot go to prison or you can come out of the prison. Praise the Lord. And I want to tell you something. Before anyone goes to physical prison, the enemy will first put him in a spiritual prison. And before God will deliver you from every imprisonment you may have found by yourself physically, God will first of all deliver you spiritually from the prison. There's a spiritual prison, there's a physical prison. But the physical prison is as a result of the person has been in a spiritual prison. Now it can be in the prison, like a police prison, or it can be, it can be in a, a it can be in a, in a, in a, 
in a, a witchcraft prison or a babalawo prison or enemy prison or, or bad wife prison or bad husband prison or bad friends prison you know they will just tie you so that you cannot remember yourself you cannot do you, 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 you cannot do what you want to do but you only do what they want you to do imprisonment many are married but they are in prison marital prison their wife or their husband imprison them many are in a relationship but they are in prison their spouse or whatever imprison them it could be it could be friendship it could be it could be male friend somehow somehow you know you, you can you can be in a prison in a relationship you can be in prison in friendship you can be in prison in the street you can be in prison anytime you cannot do things on your own you're always afraid to say something you're always afraid to do something you're always afraid of the other person you're always afraid of 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 of, um, of what people will say or what will happen or you are going to fail there's this fear that always encamp you anytime you want to do something that is a sign to show you're in prison so that prison has already been happening spiritually before you begin to experience it so it could be physical prison like police prison somebody who went to who goes to who, who they sent to jail you know physical it can also be that so you need to be very careful and then also prison in the hand of people in the hand of loved ones in the hand of you know somebody can imprison you blackmailing you doing something that makes you not to have much to talk that is also imprisonment so those things might be happening to you you may not know that you're in prison but when God wants to help you, he will show you in a dream when you are in the prison. And that is a sign to show that there is an imprisonment that is working against you. You are, in, you, are, you, are in, you are somehow imprisoned, somehow, somewhere. You know, and you just need Jesus to help you out. You just need Jesus to help you out. Now look at what happens when God wants to deliver you. When God sees that you're, the problem you are going through, that you are you are spiritually in prison. He first of all deliver you spiritually. He first of all deliver you from spiritual prison. Then you begin to enjoy your freedom in, in the physical. Now look at what God. Look at Psalm 102 verse 19. Hear what he said. Look down from the high of a sanctuary. From heaven he viewed the earth. He viewed the earth. He viewed the earth from heaven. That's God. And why is he looking? On earth, what is he looking for? He was looking for people whose prayer has disturbed him, but he wants to know why. And when he views, guess what he sees? In verse 20, to hear the groaning of prisoners and release those condemned to death. Hmm. That means in a prison, there are those, there are people that are already that are already condemned to death. They are just there. Hear me, when somebody is condemned to death, he only exists and he's not living. Because any moment, they could execute the person. So, there are many in the prison who has been judged and condemned to death, waiting for the day of the execution. And others are in the prison. The person that is in the prison, waiting for the day of execution, and the person who is also in the prison, even though they have not judged his case, they are all the same. They are all in the prison. But there are Things that God is interested on, those who their case are very, very, you know, they have gone, they have gone too far, that their case are, are terrible. He said, he said to hear their groaning, their groans, so that he can be able to bring them out from prison in order for them not to die. This is you that God is talking to. He said, I, the Lord, have decided to release you from the prison. So, whosoever is watching me, the enemy has imprisoned. Whosoever that is watching me, that life has imprisoned, that has been in the prison, that God just revealed to you in your dream. You find yourself in the prison, that is God revealing to you that you have been pre imprisoned. I pray for you this day. May heaven open. May the ears of God be hearkened unto your prayer. 
May the eyes of God search you out, find you in the hidden prison where nobody knows that you are. And then break the power of condemnation and cancel the date of your death and reverse the case and open the prison for you to come out in the name of Jesus. It happened in the time of Peter that Peter was waiting. They, 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 they put him in the prison waiting for after Easter so they could kill him. But God came before the day of execution. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. From today, from today, from today, may God deliver you. From today, may the gate of prison open. Spiritual gate of prison open unto you in the name of Jesus. Open, 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 open. Open for you to come out in the name of Jesus. Spiritual prison, open for that person watching me now. Open for that person saying amen. Open for that person stretching hands in the name of Jesus Christ. May you never return back to prison again. May you never go to physical prison. May you never experience prison again from this moment in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father, in Jesus' precious name. Now, before I round up, I want to lead you to a powerful six prayer point that I want you to join me to pray right now. Now, number one prayer point, you are going to join me to pray. Any power holding me down, release me in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that prayer with me. Any power holding me down, Release me now in the name of Jesus. Now open your mouth and pray with me. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as I pray for them, I pray for myself. I pray for my ministry, oh God. I pray for my family. I pray for everything that concerns me. I pray for my children, oh God. I pray for my brothers and sisters, Lord, that any power holding us bound, any power holding me down, release me now in the name of Jesus. Release me 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. Somebody, God is releasing you right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to say this same prayer with me as the Lord laid my spirit right now seven times. Right? You're going to pray this prayer with me seven times. Any power holding me down, release me in the name of Jesus. You're going to say it seven times. One, any power that is holding me down. Release me in the name of Jesus. Any power holding me down. Release me in the name of Jesus. Any power holding me down. Release me in the name of Jesus. Any power holding me down. Release me in the name of Jesus. Any power holding me down. Release me in the name of Jesus. Any power holding me down. Release me in the name of Jesus. Any power holding me down. Release me now in the name of Jesus Christ. As God is releasing you. As God is setting you free. He is setting your entire generations, entire family, you and your mother's children free. You and your children, you and your wife and your husband. God is setting you free right now in the name of Jesus. You will not go to prison. You are out of prison. The gate of prison is open. You are coming out in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Your dream shall be, shall be better these days. You will not see yourself in the prison again in the name of Jesus. You shall not see your, yourself in the prison again, nor see any member of your family in the prison. In the name of Jesus. Whether you see yourself in the prison or members of your family in the prison, they are all the same. It's a sign to show that someone will go to prison or that somebody is already in a spiritual prison. And I pray that God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Number two prayer point. Lord, break every chain on my legs and my hands in the name of Jesus. You're going to pray this prayer seven times. All right? For me to pray this prayer seven times. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, break every chains on my legs and my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, break every chain on my leg and on my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, break every chain on my legs, on my hands in the, my, in the name of Jesus. Lord, break every chain on my legs and my hands in the name of Jesus. Break every chain on my leg and hands in the name of Jesus. Break every chain on my legs and hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father, in Jesus' precious name. Number three, you are going to pray. You demon, assign to chain, I try to chain me, turn back 
to wherever you are coming from in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer with me now seven times. You demon assigned to chain me. Turn back in the name of Jesus. You demon assigned to chain me. Turn back in the name of Jesus. Turn back and go in the name of Jesus. You demons that are assigned to chain me. Turn back and go in the name of Jesus. You demon assigned to chain me. Turn back and go in the name of Jesus. You demon assigned to chain me. Turn back and go in the name of Jesus. You demon assigned to chain to chain me. Uh, turn back and go in the name of Jesus. You demon assigned to chain me. Uh, Turn back and return back to hell. I return back to the pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the Living God. Amen and amen. The number four. Any satanic chains that tie my hands break by fire in the name of Jesus. Now you're going to pray this prayer seven times. Now. Any satanic chains that tie my hands break by fire in the name of Jesus. Any satanic chains that tie my hands break by fire in the name of Jesus. Any satanic chains that tie my hands break by fire in the name of Jesus. Any satanic chains that tie my hands break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic chain that tie my hand break by fire in the name of Jesus. Any satanic chains that tie my hands break by fire in the name of Jesus. Any satanic chains that tie my hands break by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. The number five. You evil priest, using spell, voodoo, to manipulate my life and my destiny. Lose your powers right now. We're going to say it seven times, right? You evil priest, or native doctor, or whatever. You evil priest, using spell or voodoo to manipulate my life, my destiny, my family. Now lose your power in the name of Jesus. You're going to shout, lose your power seven times in Jesus' name. But you have to know that we are praying against the, an evil priest using spell to manipulate your life and that of your destiny and your family. Now that's where we're going to pray that that evil priest will lose, lose his power in the name of Jesus. We're going to say it seven times. All right now. You evil priest, using spell, voodoo, to manipulate my life and my destiny and that of my entire family. Lose your power right now in the name of Jesus. Lose your power in the name of Jesus, you evil priest. Lose your power in the name of Jesus, you evil priest. Lose your power in the name of Jesus, you evil priest. Lose your power in the name of Jesus, you evil priest. Lose your power in the name of Jesus, you evil priest. Lose your power in the name of Jesus, you evil priest. Lose your power in the name of Jesus, you evil priest. Lose your powers in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' precious name. The number six and the last one. Now, before I pray this prayer, I want to explain something here to you. I want to explain two things here to you. Then I, then I, then I, I, I pray with you. All right? There are two things I want to explain here to you that has to do with your being tied down because somebody, God is setting you free. God is setting you free. God is setting you free right now in the name of Jesus. God is setting you free in the name of Jesus. God is setting you free. God is setting you free. Receive your freedom right now. I feel that somebody is watching me right now. Somebody will come across this video. The Lord will give you freedom. He said, I should tell you, I will make you go free. Thus says the Lord, I will make you go free. I will make you go free. Somebody, you shall go free. You shall go free after this prayer. You shall go free. Free in the name of Jesus. Free from wherever they tie you in the name of Jesus. Hear me. There is a particular tree that God is setting on fire right now in that village. A particular tree that God is setting on fire. That is where they tie people that they tie. 
And because of your involvement in this prayer, because of your connection in this prayer, because of your amen in this prayer, that tree is raised down in the name of Jesus. From now to the end of this month, that tree shall fall physically in the name of Jesus. Is raised down by fire. Is raised down by fire. Is raised down by fire in the name of Jesus. Wherever that tree is in your family, in your village, in your town, I command the tree to be raised down in the name of Jesus. Catch fire. Born to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. From now to the end of this month, you shall physically fall because spiritually you have been raised down in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father, in Jesus' precious name. Hear this. There are two things you need to do to stay safe. To stay safe. Number one, live a godly life. Live a godly life. This is, this is the word of God. To stay safe from all this trouble, people tying you, people manipulating you, people doing all manner of things, the devil working against you, the demons working with you, fighting you, you know, you see the manifestation, the way things happen against your marital destiny, somebody will promise you marriage and before, in the next three months he says he's not interested and the other person will come and he says he's not interested and sometimes people that want to marry you are the people that die mostly different different kind of thing different stories marital disappointment now for you to be free from them all from you free from sicknesses and diseases free from marital disappointment and all of that you need to live a godly life for you to be safe for you to be free you need to live a godly life and then i want to leave this scripture with you proverbs chapter 28 from verse 13 there. I want you to read it on your own time. I think it says something. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13. It says, Whosoever that conceal their sin does not prosper. But the one who confesses and renounces and renounces them find mercy. Hear what it said. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13 whosoever conceals that is whosoever that hide his own sin or the people that hide their sins will never prosper but that one that confesses his sin renounce them that person shall find mercy so for you to be safe to be free from all this trouble you need to live a godly life the number two stay on fire Stay on fire. Stay on fire. Stay burning in fire. And you see that in the book of Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6. Hear what he said. He said, it is, he said, it's not this, the fast that I have chosen. God is saying, this is the fasting that I have chosen. Talking about prayer and fasting. He said, this particular fasting is one that I chose. I, I, I have chosen this particular fasting. And because there are so many fastings, we do different kind of fasting. But when your fasting is a firebrand fasting, the fasting that carry fire, that is that, that that shake heaven, then God said, "This one, this kind of fasting is what I want to see, so I can help you." And when God sees that kind of firebrand fasting and prayer, now look at what happened. He said, "This is the fasting that I have chosen to lose the bonds of the wicked." That means you will lose the, 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 the bondage of the wickedness upon your life. Then he said to undo the trap of the yoke. To undo the trap, the trap that enemy has set for you. Like he said he will lose the trap. He will destroy the trap of that yoke. And then he said to let the oppressed go free. And to break every yoke. Amen. This is the father I have chosen. To lose the bonds of the wicked. To, to lose the bond of the wickedness. To undo the trap of the yoke. To let the oppressed go free. Stay on fire. Stay on fire. To be free from this thing, stay on fire. Stay on fire with the Holy Spirit. Stay on fire with Jesus. Stay on fire with God. Stay on fire with your scriptures. Stay on fire. Remain a born again. Remain a child of God. Stay on fire. If he stay on fire, he said that I will do, I will, I will, I will, I, 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 said, I will lose the bones of wickedness. Then I will, I will, I will destroy the traps of the yoke. 
then I will let the oppressed go free and I will break every yoke. I will let the oppressed go free. I will break every yoke and I will destroy the traps of the enemies. If you stay on fire, God will let you go free from your from from the oppression of your of your enemies. He will he will he will lose you from the traps. He will cover every grave that is open, every priest that's open up to you. He will cover them, and then he will release you from prison, and he will set you free, and you will never return again. And I know that God is faithful and just to do whatever that He has promised to do. Stay on fire, child of God, and when you are on fire. No evil weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. There was so everything that what I have shared to you this day signifies when you dream. May God intervene in your case. May God intervene in that particular area. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God intervene. In the name of Jesus, I pray for God's intervention. I pray for his intervention. I pray for his intervention in your family. I pray for his intervention in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for God's intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fall into a pit in the name of Jesus Christ. May God bring you out. Every chains on you be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Every mountain that you are climbing, that you are not getting to the top, I command you in the name of Jesus, come out from that mountain. May God take his hand and put you on top of the mountain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every village is against you. I set that village on fire right now. I set the village on fire in the name of Jesus. Every garment that covers you, that covers your destiny, covers your life, covers your eyes, make you not to see good things, make you not to reason well again. Every garment that covers you, that hides you, make good people not to see you, make your husband not to see you, make your wife not to see you. I command that garment to catch fire right now. I set that garment on fire in the name of Jesus. May God God change your remit. May God change your garment in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray every gate of prison to be open right now. Every gate of prison to be open as it was in the time of Peter. That the angels of God came down and opened the gate of prison and Peter went free. Peter, Peter left free. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ may every spiritual prison that the enemy has put you in be open right now. May your soul go free. May your spirit go free. May your body go free. May your destiny go free. Your children go free. Your mother, your father go free. Your father's children go free. Your mother's children go free. Every generation that proceeds from you, that come, that will, that will proceed for you and, and, and that come from you, that, that you came from and that will, that will come from you, may all go free in the name of Jesus Christ. May all go free right now in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you because somebody is on fire. Somebody is staying close to you. Somebody is receiving deliverance. Something good is happening to somebody right now. Deliverance is taking place. Freedom is taking place. Yokes have been broken. Chains have been destroyed. Pit have been covered. Garments have been set on fire. Mountains have been leveled. Yokes have been broken, Lord. Traps have been destroyed, oh God. In the name of Jesus, the oppressed have been delivered. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. God bless you, child of God. I know that you are blessed by this telecast. And I want to encourage you that the things that we we will share this day or this I share with you, I would like to revisit this video again and then listen to this point again and then even the prayers and you can you can just take your time and then listen to the videos again and pick prayer points from the things I have shared that the signs of dream and use them as a prayer point to deliver yourself and then the prayer point that I, I you join me to pray you can repeat them again and again for some days. Just like the doctor will tell you, take this drug for two days, three days, for three weeks, that you'll be fine. Just do this over and over again for some days, you're going to be fine. Something is going to happen to you. This morning is going to come. You're going to wake up one day and see that you are free. You're going to wake up one day and begin to feel joy inside of you. No more sadness, no more sorrow. You feel joy. You know that something has just left you, that the completion is coming. Whatever thing that it is that you've been looking for, you have not gotten it. After this moment, may you begin to see them. May your hand begin to touch good things. May your hand begin to touch good things. May you live long here on this earth. Touch good things. May whatever thing that you live has to do prospers in the name of Jesus. May God prosper the works of your hands. Prosper your marriage. Prosper your family. Let your aspirations, your dreams come true in the name of Jesus. The devil has no more power over your life. God has redeemed you. 
Jesus' blood has set you free in Jesus' name. In case if you have not been giving your life to Jesus, I want to encourage you, give your life to Jesus. Be born again. It doesn't take you anything. You just confess your sins and then and accept Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. And then and then and then turn away from your from, from your former life, from, from a sinful life, and, and just and just live a godly life. And and, and and you see, heaven will rejoice for your sake. And then things will begin to work the way they're supposed to be for you in Jesus' name. And at the end of the race, we shall also be taken in heaven. God bless you. I still remain your pastor. Until I come your way again, remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen and then Amen.